Hello there and welcome back to the channel. So here and today is Rifle Mania. Friday, December what? December December 9. And we have Hammerman imitation base on an archipelago. So we're gonna go ahead and take him using Rifleman. If you didn't see um just a few minutes ago, I recorded it last night, but uh a few minutes ago I just posted uh, my warm-up session for rifleman um rifle mania sm smoke and swarm tactics against pvp bases so check that out it's going to be on the link on the upper right corner there um and yeah let's go i i don't know if i should be boosting um i usually let's do this i'm not gonna boost let's see how far we can get without boosting um if it gets hard i'll i'll, I'll boost i don't care if i lose boost anyways i mean i have i think i should have plenty of powder um, yeah, I have 312 powder, so that's not going to be a problem. Um, so yeah, let's go ahead and, and look at it. That's uh, here. That's the stats of my troops, so you know. And let's go for it. Let's find Hammerman. Here he is. Take on the first base. Okay, let's move this on this corner. That way it doesn't bother us. Um, yeah, we can GB this, but I'm not going to GB it. I'm going to be... I'm just going to go for it. And practice as you were so this case you know has no rocket launchers or if he has I haven't seen them you know. smoke and swarm technique is you smoke to his initial position group all your troops there then get them into a position where you can then swarm and then safely take any key defenses that you want And once you get to that final position, then that's it. You just go bananas. You know there were there were a bunch of there were a bunch of um of trees there, so my troops sort of split more than they needed it to. Um, but stage one shouldn't be that but that difficult. So I want to say let's uh, let's take a look at stage two. Four riflemen we lost. I'm not gonna reload them with diamonds. I mean, if we need to, we'll, we'll, we'll do it in a little bit. Um, <laughs> I hate when people just have greens. It's just so silly. Well, that's a bunch of mines around the HQ. How about we just... I'm gonna see what these guys can do in a level base like this. I'm gonna clear those mines. Actually, I'll clear them as I move. Um, let's just go full bananas on this. Oh, one more boat. Come on, bananas. All right. Let's draw a couple crater boxes here. Let's throw a barrage here and here. Let's secure those mines. And I'm not going to shock. I'm not going to do anything. I'm just going to let them do what they do best. We have 111. I'm not. I mean, we don't need to. Those flamethrowers are not doing anything to my troops. So, stage two, really easy. Not a problem. I know it was not a smoke and swarm as I promised, but I just wanted to see, uh, you know, what, what they were capable of doing in a low level base like that. The next base will make you back for mercy. Right. Let's see. <laughs> All right, so all the mines are here on the right side. Um, we can definitely flank here, or we can just go directly for a hue, which is what we're gonna do. Um, smoke and swarm right in from right to that spot, and then go for the HQ. How many rocket launchers do I have? Just one. No shocks. So the mines are what 126. So they're not gonna kill my guys in combination, but I'm gonna clear one of them either way. So. Let's get them all nicely packed. So also, you can also, you know, with Rifleman, you can also do this Tiger Landing. It works the same way this Tiger Suka Landing works. Let's 
Dirty of Mines. Back to the corner. We need to smoke. I don't think we need to smoke. I will smoke them either way. No reason why not to. One nice smoke here. Boop. Nice. All right. So now we're in position. We're gonna lose some some guys. It really doesn't matter. The thing with the thing with with uh, riflemen is. You don't care if you lose one, two, or three, 10, 11, 20, 60, 100, it doesn't really matter. The rest, you know, the remaining 100 are gonna do the job like they do. So stage three went down really, really easily. All right, let's uh, reload our troops. So this is funny, it's supposed to be Rifle Mania, but you can see the diamond reload is seven. And when you go here to the to the actual map, it's only showing four. So that is bugged. All right, stage four, let's take a look at it. <laughs> yeah, this one, it's gonna be easy too. All right, so we need to plan this out. What are we gonna take out initially? And then what are we, this mine's 100, what, 184? So what was the health of my troops? Let me see. Can we just go and eat those mines? So they have 600, let's round it up. So they have 800 health and change. That means that these mines are what two hundred, so I can eat I can eat four of those mines and still survive. Um, but I'll clear some of them either way. It's not worth it to risk it. All right, so this is my plan. My plan is gonna be I'm gonna destroy these two guys here. I'm going to then. Then I'm gonna park right here in the middle. Actually, I have enough for for three of them, so I'm gonna destroy these two guys, and then park right here, and then go from there. So let's do it. It's all one shot defenses here, so I'm just gonna keep walking. I'm gonna leave a little bit of space here. I'm gonna cover that flame tower, of course. I don't want that thing just hitting you all willy nilly. Let's um, refresh our truth. And then chuck this and go from here. HQ went down. How many troops you end up losing? I mean, it seems horrible when you're doing the attack. You see every all the defenses firing, the chalk blaster, and it's just, you know to be honest, it's a little bit nerve wracking. But at the end, you know what? You lost. I lost 21 troops there. Could have maybe done it better. Um, not really a big deal because when you take a look then and then check the reload time, you're talking of what? four minutes for the worst case scenario five minutes for the worst case scenario and and the best case scenario one minute but you still have you know 180 troops which i'm pretty sure is going to be pretty dang enough to take on this base yes it will so because i mean look the shock is down here um so if i if I take out these two guys right here and then park my troops in, in this area right here then i'll i'll have full rain on this base 
So how many mines? I mean, you could farm, but there's no really a point. And these mines are even lower than the other base, so... Meh. Yeah. Let's go for it. Let's destroy that. Destroy these two guys right here. I'm gonna use barrage there, and then use artillery here, because I'm very sure one was enough. Should have used one. Alright, let's go for it. Shock launcher might hit us. And if it does, yeah. I'll cover these troops right here. Oh no, what the hell are they doing? You see that? They started going the other way. That's crazy. It's always important to, you know, recall your troops back once you get a holding of the position and then just send a med kit because otherwise they're going to start spreading out, swarming out the way they do. Um, and you may end up losing more troops than you really wanted to. All right, so we end up losing the same amount of troops that we did on the last one. 21 troops. Now, this attack took, what, 20, like a minute and a half? So we should already be, um, how many troops did we lose? So 21, so we we uh, reloaded in that amount of time, we reloaded three troops on every single boat. Um, but you see, like I haven't had, I don't have to wait till my troops completely refresh. It's not needed when you're using our, our strategy like this. All right, so how many mines here? Two, those mines are a little bit more powerful. Um, they're still not going to be able to take them all. How about we... Okay, so we have... This boost. So they has, So I can take... H rocket launcher, I can take them with two, with two hits. Now these shocks, you see, these shock launchers right here, they're not in range of the HQ on the back. So I can smoke here on the back side and be completely safe from those. Now that rocket launcher cannot hit my troops. This one can barely hit them, but I bet I can keep them alive with a with a med kit if I wanted to. So yeah, let's do it. Let's go. Let's go behind that thing. We need to make a spot. So let's make a spot right. Um, okay, let's make a spot right here. Um, I'm not going to even clear the, um, sorry about that. I'm not going to even going to clear the, uh, how do you call it, the rocket launcher. I'm just going to go full bananas right now. So how about we clear 89? Let's clear these mines. Let's do that. I'm going to hold. I'm gonna hold a second before I send the flare. I'm gonna send the flare and this move. Get everybody nice and tidy in that in that little cubby hole. And now I'm gonna send the flare to the back, not to the right corner, because if I do, then what's gonna end up happening is ooh, they're spreading a lot. Okay, there you go, I give them up. That was that spreading was kind of weird. I don't know what the heck what happened there. All right, let's get everybody here. Target the HQ. Boom, boom, boom. <laughs> All right, HQ went down with a smoky rifleman attack to the HQ, and that was stage six. That was. That was crappy, to be honest. That was really easy. I don't understand how that can be a, a stage six imitation game base. 
we ended up losing 46 riflemen on this one a little bit more but if you divide those 40 let's say 45 across all the entire boats you're talking about five riflemen per boat so you if if you had to wait you're only be you're only going to be waiting for five minutes tops um of course we're not going to wait for five minutes i'm going to scout that's going to buy me an extra minute save me one diamond and then um we'll come back and finish the boat let's see what this guy has right here where's the hq oh, all right here in the top <laughs> all right so so here's the deal shock blaster rocket launcher and and uh, sorry shock launcher shock blaster those three guys have to go however i'm going to take them out with my troops so this is the point where i'm going to smoke right in the middle of those three that's the point where i'm going to smoke in however i need to be careful because he does have mines then after, so I'm going to destroy with GBE this, this, and that. No, actually, no, I'm not going to, I'm not going to destroy this one with GBE because I can shock. I can shock this one. I can shock these two things together. So I'm going to destroy these two with GBE. Um, send my first boat here. Let the first boat of riflemen eat those mines. Smoke to this corner and then go diagonally here. And then go, go from there to the HQ. Yeah, that's what I'm going to do. I may fail, and if I do, then we'll do it again. So let me refresh my troops. Numbers are all over the place. Eight diamonds. Eh, doesn't matter. Let's do this. I usually save my diamonds for insta-finishing upgrades, or finishing the time on upgrades, so... That's why I'm always a little bit hesitant on using diamonds for stuff like this, but for you guys, it's worth it. All right. So let's clear. Uh, actually, you don't need to go diagonally because if I'm going to destroy these two with GBE, these mines here are going to be gone. Um, but I still have to clear these mines right here. Darn it. All right. Now I'm not. I'm not going to do it. I'm going to go diagonally. Just be safe. Yeah, be safe. All right, so that's going to be gone. One and two. All right, so. Now let's do this. So remember, do, let me send my troops. Send the first one. Wait a second, and then send the other one. Now those first few troops are going to get blasted. Don't really care about it. Once they start making it to that corner, then I, I smoke. And the shock was good because now they are all grouped up, if you saw. So once they start making it, now I flirt to the top. One. Oh no, they took the wrong turn. Shoot. Alright, but we made it, we made it. Everybody's here, let's fill them up. Alright, once the smoke is about to expire. Boom. Swarm, my guys, you can do it. Throw some critters to distract stuff. Riflemen, smoke and swarm, the best thing ever. All right, once the doom cannon is gone, I'm gonna refresh to here. Shock again, this defenses right here. And that's it, guys. That's all she croak. <laughs> There's nothing he can do. This one, another box here. RGDHQ, if we can do it. And boom. <laughs> we ended up losing a lot of troops here. How many did we lose? About half. About half our force. But he had, you know, take into account he had two boosted ice statues. How many ice? So just two boosted ice statues, I think. Um, I want to check that replay out, make, make sure how many... I didn't check the ice. Um, that's always good that you should do at the beginning, but let's take a look again. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. So only two ice statues, not, not that horrible. 
Um, how many troops do you end up losing? So we lost 109. I, it's not bad. I mean, let's let's take a look at the at the reload time. 109 spread over 10 boats. We're talking of 15 minutes. That's about reloading five five warriors on each boat. So not not a horrible attack. In any case, we didn't have to boost, so we save on powder. All the the shards and crystals, if we made any, are gonna go to for new powder production, which is gonna be awesome. We didn't get any 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 crystals, which which is not good. But in any case, guys, that's all I have for you today. I hope you like this. Um, remember, I just posted a video of smoke and swarm with riflemen on PvP bases. I'm gonna post the link on the description right now on the little eye on the corner. Um, or it's up there, you can just click it. Um, in any case, if you found this video helpful, please make sure you hit that like button. Um, also, hit that subscribe button if you haven't done so yet. It just appeared in the middle of the screen and there's gonna be a couple of videos that you may be interested in. In any case, guys, take care and solid checking out.